Hi everyone, welcome to the Leaders Academy. We are going to solve many other questions from section E of part 1 of CMA USA course. In this video, we are going to solve the questions only related to segregation of duties. Watch this video till the end so that you will be able to understand how to solve the questions related to segregation of duties. Let's get into the question. The proper segregation of duties requires that option A the individual who records a transaction does not compare the accounting record of the asset with the asset itself. Option B. The individual who records a transaction must maintain custody of the asset resulting from the transaction. Option C. The individual who authorizes a transaction also records it. Option D. The individual who maintains custody of an asset must have access to the accounting records for the asset. Before solving the question related to segregation of duties, remember these four points. Segregation of duties means you are going to segregate the duties specifically to each person. Means when one person does so many different jobs, he will be able to make a fraud because everything will be under his control. That's why the segregation of duties concept will arise. So what you should remember? What are those four points? First point is authorizing authorizing next point is record keeping next point custody of the assets next point reconciliation these are the four points by which we should segregate the duties if you remember these four points you will be able to solve any kind of question any kind of question what are those four points let's repeat it once again authorizing record keeping custody of the assets and reconciliation authorizing means someone who will be approving the transaction means if we should pay to someone that person should approve that transaction then only the payment will happen for example signature he, when he does signature then only the transaction will be approved like that next record keeping record keeping means just journal entries next custody of the asset means the person who will be having all the cash or bank details or, uh, or any kind of assets notes and all that is custody of the assets next final reconciliation reconciliation means comparing them comparing the records with the asset or comparing the checks with the actual transactions these four things should be separated means segregated then the segregation of duties will be perfect got it on this basis let's see this first option individual who records a transaction records so record keeping does not compare the accounting record of the asset with the asset itself he is not comparing okay fine let's go to the next option the individual who records a transaction must maintain custody of the asset resulting from the transaction he is recording as well as maintaining the custody recording and maintaining which is not fine this cannot be the answer individual who authorizes a transaction also records it authorizing and recording that's why this cannot be the answer next the individual who maintains custody of an asset custody of an asset must have access to the accounting records for the asset accounting records means record keeping also and on top of that custody of the asset this cannot be the answer let's see the option a now the person who records a transaction is not going to compare the accounting record of the asset with the asset itself means this accounting record of the asset itself comparing is done in reconciliation that he is not going to do and the person who records a transaction is different and the person who does this comparison is the different person that's why option a is the right one i hope you got this point let's see the next question here option a is the right one then yeah in a well designed internal control system two tasks two tasks that should be performed by different people are option a posting of amounts from both the cash receipts journal and cash payments journal to the general ledger option b distribution of payroll checks and approval of sales returns for credit option c 
approval of credit loss write offs and reconciliation of the accounts payable subsidiary ledger and controlling account option d reconciliation of bank account and recording of cash receipts again you should remember four things what are those four things write it down this writing is going to help you a lot authorizing record keeping custody and finally reconciliation finally the reconciliation okay now you can check this now posting of amounts from both the cash receipts journal and cash payments journal to the general ledger see understand the question two tasks that should be performed by different people means two different people should do this job understood that thing we should concentrate on okay hmm. basically this person is doing record keeping that's all right let him do is he having any authorization here posting of amounts from both the cash receipt journal and cash payment journal to central ledger no is he having any custody no is he doing any reconciliation no he is just updating he is just putting the journal entries so this is not the answer next distribution of payroll checks and approval of sales returns for credit payroll checks this comes in hr department okay and approval of sales returns for credit this is related to the sales department here he is distributing the payroll checks means he is the custodian he is distributing the checks and approval of sales returns for credit sales returns for credit means he is the authorizing person oh shit so this could be the right answer right no that is not because there are two different departments he is working in two different departments with the different position in one department he is working as a custodian in in the other department he is working as the authorizer that's why this can be done by the same person next approval of credit loss write offs and the reconciliation of the accounts payable subsidiary ledger and controlling account credit loss write off it is related to sales reconciliation of the accounts payable when will accounts payable come into place when we have something to pay being the company if we have something to pay to the outsiders that's that time accounts payable will come this credit loss write offs will come in accounts receivable so these are again two different departments credit loss write offs and reconciliation of the accounts payable subsidiary ledger and controlling account here also two processes are included approval that is authorizing and in reconciliation of the accounts payable subsidiary we have reconciliation got it and finally reconciliation of bank account and recording of cash receipts reconciliation of bank account and recording of cash receipts means he is doing the recording as well as he is going to do reconciliation and in the same department that is cash bank department that's why these things should be performed by two different people in that case option d is going to be the right option got it i hope you understood this next question one characteristic of an effective internal control structure is the proper segregation of duties the combination of responsibilities that could be performed by the same person is that could be performed by the same person means one person can do two jobs which are those two jobs let's see preparation of paychecks and check distribution time keeping and preparation of payroll journal entries signing of paychecks and custody of blank payroll checks approval of time cards and preparation of paychecks let's start this now that could be performed by the same person means one person can do both of these jobs which is that again same segregation of duties we should concentrate on four points that is authorizing record keeping and next custody of the assets and finally reconciliation finally reconciliation let's see the first option preparation of paychecks and check distribution preparation will come in record keeping check distribution will come in custody of the asset so these two things cannot be performed by the same person delete it next 
टाइम कीपिंग एंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पेरोल जर्नल एंट्रीज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पेरोल जर्नल एंट्रीज मीन्स रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग टाइम कीपिंग मीन्स ऑल्सो रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग द राइट आंसर साइनिंग ऑफ पे चेक्स एंड कस्टडी ऑफ बैंक पेरोल चेक्स साइनिंग ऑफ पे चेक्स विल कम इन ऑथराइजिंग एंड कस्टडी ऑफ बैंक पेरोल चेक्स कम्स इन कस्टडी ऑफ द असेट दैट्स वाई दिस के नॉट बी द आंसर अप्रूवल ऑफ टाइम कार्ड्स दैट विल कम इन ऑथराइजिंग प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पे चेक्स दैट विल कम इन रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग दैट्स वाई दिस के नॉट बी द आंसर सो बाय दिस द परफेक्ट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी द ऑप्शन बी आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड वेट फॉर मोर एंड मोर क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एक्ट please do subscribe to our channel so that we will be sharing more and more concept videos which will be helping you at the end time of your exam thank you stay connected stay committed